you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Now, we're going to uh, do the helmets of the month for November 2019. So, the votes are in. I do apologise for this video not being up on the 1st of December, today is the today's the 3rd so two days late, it's not bad is it? So here we go, in 15th place Coogan Cassius I mean, what do you expect with all the goings on that we've got in boxing at the moment? I mean, it's a cesspit, isn't it? You know, we've got Dillian White fighting in Saudi. He's cleared to fight. Well, is he cleared to fight in the UK? He's a pound for pound fighter, isn't he? So why is he not fighting in the UK? I don't know. He's fighting in Saudi. It's another fight for Dillian White, another win. Another fight that he's not fought Caballel, the European guy, who, who had the European title. I'm not sure if he's still got it. It's another fight we are in fighting Wilder. It looks like Dillian White's just on a path, doesn't it, to not fight Wilder. And why isn't Coogan Cassius asking him these questions? I mean, who knows? He might even ask him these questions this week in Saudi Arabia. But, you know, where's he going and what, what is Coogan doing in, uh, in boxing at the moment besides interviewing people? He's not asking proper questions. A very good interviewer, Coogan, but he's not going to bite the hand that feeds him, is he? And is that journalism? I don't know. Very disappointing, but Coogan, your number 15, Alma, at month. Number 14. It's Johnny! He's always there, isn't he? He's always there or thereabouts. Johnny Nelson. I think nothing needs needs to be said anymore about Johnny Nelson that's not already been said. The guy's just a, the guy's just a pure helmet. So But, you know, it is what it is. But what can you do? It's just one of them things, isn't it? It's just one of them things. It's boxing, isn't it? So, it's just boxing. There's nothing we can do about it. Uh, no. uh, I'd have this guy on Ireland number 13 and people say, you dare put him in because he's connected to MTK. I dare put him in. Matthew Macklin, you're a helmet yet again. It's just, I don't know, I don't know what, what's happened to you Matthew, but you keep getting all these votes for helmet at month and I just don't know what's happening mate, to be honest. Uh, I just don't know what's happening, but Matthew Macklin, pound for pound helmet. Number 13 on Porky's Corner. Number 12, Andy Clark. Andy Clark has now become a bit of an embarrassment, hasn't he really? He has become a bit of an embarrassment and I don't know what what to uh, what to make of him to be honest, but he's just become a bit of an embarrassment. So, Andy Clark from Sky Sports, you are a helmet of the month on Porky's Corner, November two thousand nineteen, pound for pound helmet. So, in at number eleven, cost cutter David Hay. He's always there, isn't he? I emailed a few people back. Why you picked David A? He's supposed to be David A. I'm cool. They're just saying it's for the, the rimming, the constant rimming. 
that he's coming out with, you know, regarding Joshua. Just constant rimming. And uh, maybe he doesn't want to be like that and he wants to be, you know, one of the boys, but the rimming that he's coming out with is. I don't know, it's just embarrassing, isn't it, from David Hay, old cost cutter himself and you know one <laughs> You just gotta look at that well they all sat around that group, aren't you, David Hay and Bellew and the rest of them and you know, they all went for AJ, didn't they? All them so called experts have just seen Joshua got broke down, systematically broke down, beaten up, dropped four times and quit in the corner while standing up facing him and just quit you've got all that and these so-called ex-world champions all of them are picking joshua to win rematch why is that why why is that is that bias I mean, would you pick Bute to beat frotch in rematch no you won't would you why not so he got broke down didn't he so Number 10, in at number 10, he were higher leading up to it, but the votes that came in after that regarding the Ryder Smith just knocked him down. But in at number 10, he's there or thereabouts, isn't he? Old, old Mrs. Matchroom. <laughs> we call him Mrs. Matchroom, don't we? Darren Mrs. Matchroom Barker. <laughs> Has there ever been a bigger monitor lizard in boxing than Darren Barker? I don't know. If there is, tell me who it is. But Darren Barker, in at number 10, you made the top 10 pound for pound. Well done, Darren. In at number 9, I don't know why people have uh, sent votes in for him, but he got a lot of votes. I think it's because of the. Because he said Callum Smith beat Ryder, but. Peter Fury, number 9. I know all the people that said I'm a Peter Fury arselicker. If you're in the helmets, you're going to get voted. Peter Fury, number nine, pound for pound helmet a month. We'll leave it at that, shall we? Number eight, down at number eight, Eduardo. Eduardo Hearn, Eddie Hearn, number eight, pound for pound. Well. Eddie makes his own scorecards up, doesn't he, after a fight? He goes with the narrative and tries to put, tries to put a spin on it, but I've heard a little rumour today that you're going to see John Ryder against Callum Smith again, so I expect a lot of stalling and a lot of screaming from Joe Gallagher to try and get it pay-per-view. They might even go for a 10-quid pay-per-view on this. Not 20, 10 quid. But let's see. Let's see if Porky's right. Smith Rider will happen again. So, Eddie Hearn, pound for pound, number eight. Number seven, Paul Smigger Smig Smith. Basically, forgiving Crawler. Basically, forgiving Crawler, uh, not Crawler, forgiving Callum, sorry, uh, six rounds out at first seven. I mean, what were Paul Smith watching? Why is Sky going ringside to ask Paul Smith how he's got it after seven rounds? What do they think he's going to say? Oh, it's neck and neck, it's anybody's, eh? It's no good, is it? In at number six, joint number six, Crawler and Liam Smith. Same amount of votes, 32 votes each. Crawler and Liam Smith. Why is that? Well, scorecards were shocking, and Liam Smith were gloating about it on social media, wasn't it? About Ryder losing and Callum winning, and we're putting emoji faces up and all that what's all that about hey what is all that about i 
the Smiths have gone three and twelve against world champions. Three wins, twelve losses, no draws. The three wins are Rocky Fielding, Hassan and Dam, and George Grove. Rocky Fielding before they were a world champion, and that were only a regular belt. Hassan and Dam, an old middleweight fighting at the super middle, an old man. He's now retired, they reckon. And George Groves, a shot-worn, injured George, George Groves. And all them wins by Callum. That is the CV of the Smith family. That is it. Who's, who can tell me best wins out of other three? Most overrated boxing family in the world. Gwyn Whale knocks all them out. All them Smiths, I put Gwyn, Gwyn Whale up against all of them. They don't call it Woodpecker for now, it just headbutt them all. In at number five, and this man here, right? If I ever see him at one of Dennis Hobson's shows, I'm going to stick a camera right under his face and I'm going to say, Do you feel that you're a blind man? Terry O'Connor. You need to go to Specsavers. You are a blind man. You are either corrupt or you are blind. That means you are incompetent. Either way, you need to get out of boxing. You are not to be trusted, Terry O'Connor. Consider it severance pay. The money you've had, take the train and get out of Dodge. A pork is chicken can't cope when people mention Terry O'Connor. In at number four. You've got it, it's Bean. Runner Bean, should have been, could have been, never been, jelly bean, magic bean, baked bean, beanie. <laughs> Old rumple stilt skin. Rough, tough, rugged. This is why we love this sport so much, Johnny. Bean, you're there again, aren't you? Beanie. Get out of boxing, Bean. You've been found out. And on your way out at the door, leave your laptop for Old Bill. Because the Sweeney are coming to look at it. Bean. So, in at number three. Andy Lee. God, I thought Andy Lee were a breath of fresh air. When he burst onto the boxing scene, Andy Lee, what's happened to him? What has happened to Andy Lee? The man's lost plot, hasn't he? Andy Lee has lost the plot. In at number three for the scorecards and constant rimming. Didn't you make any money out of boxing? Jesus. Andy Lee, you should be embarrassed. In at number two, well... He had to be there, didn't he? He's always in the mix, isn't he? He is always in the mix. Anthony, the disappearing man, Bellew! That's right. He may be 17 stone now, and he may be uh, kissing everybody's ass at Sky, but Anthony Bellew is just embarrassing, isn't it? Did you see... Have you seen have you seen him on Sky now, Anthony Bellew? I just can't cope with him anymore. He's just he's become an embarrassment. Now it only leaves one thing left, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. One thing left. The pound for pound porky's corner number one helmet. For November 2019, pound for pound, you've got it, it's Tesco Joe, overwhelming votes for Tesco, I think my email machine got set on fire, there was smoke coming off it, with all the votes for the tesco -inator. there's the Terminator and there's the tesco -inator. Joe Gallagher, You're there again aren't you Joe, hey, Joe Gallagher, pound for pound, doing an interview with the Oscar Beavers and 
telling him he's effing taking P-I-double-S. What's all that about? Ain't nobody allowed to ask for a rematch. John Ryder won by three, four rounds in my opinion, mate. I've got it as two rounds on my thing, but if you watch it, you could easily give it to him by four, but if you're not biased, it's easy two rounds. Three if you're in the middle. And you're saying that he doesn't deserve a rematch. What on earth are you on? You were screaming for Paul Smith to get one against Abraham. Screaming. Crawl and Linares didn't deserve a rematch, so why can't now Boots on other fought Callum Smith fight Smith but fight Ryder again, Joe? Hey? Joe Gallagher, you're a helmet for November. On Porky's Corner, Elmer Month. You should be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed coming out with all that. On IFL. Hey? Eh? Joe Gallagher, the man that ruined a generation of fighters. If you didn't, who's your best win, Joe? Your best win is who? George Groves, Asin and Dam and Rocky Field are your best three wins. Eh? They're your best three wins and two wins over Liam Williams, who's not a world champion. They're your top five wins. I, I couldn't tell you somebody that Swifty Smith, Swifty Smith has beat. And the other one, what's he called? Paul Smith's best wins, Tony Dodson twice. That's it. Life and deaths. Joe Gallagher, the man that ruined the reputation. You got a problem, Joe? Come see me. Peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Shout out Innovation Alloys.